25th anniversary of the independence of San Lucia. Born in the resort Miku, Jean Baptiste Bido saved the life of the liberator Simon Bolivar in 1816. We take this opportunity today to recognize the hard work of our governments and peoples who continue to strive to improve the living conditions of all citizens, always thinking of the human being as well as to maintain our region with the best relations of friendship, cooperation, economic growth, and always in a climate of peace. Today, we proudly congratulate St. Lucia, the birthplace of poets and writers of universal stature, such as Sir Derek Walcott and Sir Arthur Lewis, great humanists, an example for our region, who enlightened the entire world with their legacies in the artistic, literary, and economic world. Today we say to San Lucia, long live San Lucia, happy Independence Day. Good day, I am Peter Chen, Taiwan ambassador to San Lucia, born at the Pado City C. Happy Independence Day to the people and the government of San Lucia. As this year marks the 45th anniversary of independence with the theme of building a nation through unity, resilience, and creativity, I am truly honored to join this auspicious occasion in celebration of the achievements that lead us to a brighter future. The Republic of China, Taiwan, and San Lucia have built solid partnership in multiple sectors, including agriculture, infrastructure, education, business, digital literacy, public health, and other social initiatives. We have been working closely with different ministries, departments, and constituency councils of St. Lucia to carry out multiple training workshops focusing on capacity building. In line with Honorable Prime Minister Fidi JPA and Solution Government's policy. Also, people to people engagement, including the visit by Taiwan youth ambassadors, Taiwanese jazz musicians, medical doctors, and experts in various sectors to Solution. Not only advance the mutual understanding, but also highlight the strong connectivity between our two countries. My dear friends in Solution, as Taiwan completed the general election in January this year, we would like to share the joy of strife in fostering shared values of democracy, freedom, and rule of laws. Taiwan will continue to work with the people and the government of St. Lucia, forging a resilient, prosperous, and peaceful homeland. Once again, congratulations on the 45th Independence Day of St. Lucia. Happy 45th anniversary of Independence St. Lucia, sending you so much love from Taipei, Taiwan. Bye-bye. Congratulations on 45 years of independence. May this incredible milestone be a symbol of unity, prosperity, and progress for us all. And I wish all St. Lucians, wherever you may roam, a happy independence and continued growth and success in the years to come. Ni hao, hello. Greetings from Taiwan. My name is Trisha Arnold and I would like to wish my beautiful country, St. Lucia, a happy 45th independence anniversary. And remember, wherever you may roam, love, oh love, our island home. Bon fête à l'Ibadas de Christi. À présent, nous sommes quand même sacrés à l'Ibadas. Je vais prier Dieu pour nous tous profiter ensemble de cette fête. Et je vais vous demander pour Dieu pour bénir chez le pays. Bon fête quand même sacrés à l'Ibadas de Christi. Wheresoever you may roam, love, oh love, our island's home. Happy 45th anniversary of independence in Lucia from the Republic of China, Taiwan. All the best. St. Lucia, do you require love? Yes. Bienvenue cette ici, non moi c'est Raïssa Joseph. Moi c'est directeur pour Plage Recherche Folklore. Nous voulons célébrer et puis juste cette ici, 
Ici, et puis à l'autre pays, quand on sait qu'on est vers le sein et des pôles de Quand un pays libre, qui est supposé à tchèque le travail à nous faire pour le peuple et la nation. Pour 50 années, FRC a joué un gros rôle dans le mouvement de ça. À nous réfléchir et puis moi, pour un moment. FRC a fait une contribution à l'Indie. Plus gros feste national à célébration, journée créole et puis moi héritage créole. Un développement et puis élévation culti et puis langue créole là. Un préservation de l'histoire cette ici. Expressement, des affaires folklore. Un richard chassou, la rose avec la marguerite. Conte, Kelly, Masquerade, Papa Jab et Pli. Et faut aussi j'ai travaillé aussi pour préserver l'histoire Kaiso nous. Pour plusieurs années, un livre Lucien Kaiso. Et travaille nous qu'à continuer Jodia. Si nous ne pas nous ne sommes pas de développement. Si nous ne pouvons pas préserver nous sommes, l'identité nous-mêmes, nous sommes pas de nation. Nous sommes tous les Québécois. Nous sommes tous les peuple. Bon indépendance dans cette nation. Nous sommes tous les pays. C'est là que nous sommes. On behalf of the French government and the French people, I would like to congratulate St. Lucia, its government and its people for the 45th anniversary of its independence. It's a great year for you and it's a great year for us as well in France because we want to welcome you very warmly for the next Olympic Games which are due to be held in Paris in July and August this year. So congratulations St. Lucia and very happy anniversary. I extend on behalf of Mexico warmest congratulations to the government and people of St. Lucia on the recognition of your 45th anniversary of independence. The relationship between Mexico and St. Lucia has had significant achievements since diplomatic ties were established almost 45 years ago. We share a common border, the Caribbean. Our governments have held excellent political relations, and both countries promote and defend common causes in the multilateral arena. In the field of cooperation, important projects have been offered in areas such as the development of the coconut industry and technical and scientific collaboration in disaster risk management, the strengthening of the spatial data infrastructure, design and analysis of foreign trade statistics, heritage preservation, design and update of San Lucia's coastal and geographic information, water availability, just to mention some of them. San Lucia's representatives have traveled to Mexico to participate in the Summer School of Non-Proliferation and Nuclear Disarmament. Mexico founded the School Feeding Program, which was implemented by FAO and CARICOM. The program has had a positive and significant impact on the children and farmers of San Lucia. Mexico also founded several infrastructure projects, such as the construction of the water treatment system in Denary North, two greenhouses, the morgue and the ambulance and security monitoring buildings on St. Jude's Hospital. With this, Mexico wishes the government and people of St. Lucia ongoing success, prosperity, well-being and peace in its sustained efforts of national building. Congratulations. The Ministry of Justice extends congratulations and best wishes to the government and people of St. Lucia on the celebration of our 45th anniversary of independence. Our mandate as a ministry is to continue to contribute to the security, safety and equitable distribution of justice to the citizens of St. Lucia. The Ministry of Justice has made significant strides in improving the service offered to the citizens of St. Lucia through the digitization of records for easier access to information and more efficient service to the public. This was especially seen at the Civil Status Registry and High Court Registry in which notable adoption of ICT systems for vital records and e-litigation were realized. 
The forensic laboratory is also in the process of ruling out the laboratory information management system, which would incorporate ICT in the management of its operations. The Forensic Laboratory Services Department continues to make several advancements through training and achieving accreditation standards which established the St. Lucia Forensic Laboratory as a center of excellence. Some of these accreditations include the American Association for Laboratory Accreditation or E2LE and the DNA Analysis Accreditation. The magistrates' courts and high courts have done significant work in the digitization of court records. The Crown Prosecution Services Department continues to work in prosecuting criminal cases and the upcoming halls of justice will strengthen our ability and capacity to deliver justice to the citizens of St. Lucia. The Ministry is committed to continually improving its systems, processes and procedures to provide better service to the citizens of St. Lucia. With the help of our legal aid department, we will soon be conducting public consultation on legislation. Later, the implementation of the Ministry's website and Civil Status Registry Enquiry Point will enhance our online visibility and information sharing capacity to assist customers. The future looks secure as we move forward ahead and together. Again, I congratulate and thank you all on our significant milestone. As St. Lucia celebrates its 45 years of independence, I wish to congratulate the government and people of St. Lucia on yet another milestone. Let us all continue to instill in ourselves and future generations a renewed and purposeful sense of national pride, tolerance, respect, and unity. I wish to applaud one of the key independence activities, the Battle Relay, which seeks to involve all communities in the expression of our St. Lucian identity. It represents, like the various other activities, our self-expression, our innovation and creativity as St. Lucians. We must not forget our journey as a people and as a nation over these 45 years. Many persons have stepped up in all facets of the society and offered their talents, their services, their lives to our country so that they can celebrate this 45th year of independence. We must always remember them. Each of us has a duty to country, to our beautiful island home, to ensure its growth and prosperity for generations to come. Let us embrace our responsibilities to self and country through every decision we make or action we take. Let me take the opportunity on behalf of the staff of the Attorney General's Chambers to say Happy Independence, St. Lucia. celebrate the 45th anniversary of St. Lucia's independence, it is with great pride and enthusiasm that we highlight the remarkable achievement of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, our nation's leading tertiary institution. Over the years, the Community College has played a pivotal role in shaping the educational landscape of St. Lucia consistently fostering excellence and producing graduates who make significant contributions both nationally and internationally. As we reflect on our journey, we are pleased to highlight some of the outstanding accomplishments that epitomize the spirit of our institution. Ryan Augustine Joseph, a shining example of excellence has recently emerged as the valedictorian of the UWI's Cadill campus. His achievements underscore the academic rigor and preparation instilled by the college, setting a standard for excellence among our graduates. Two of our students have secured places among the top 10 in the CXC CAPE examinations showcasing the dedication and high academic standards upheld by the college. 
These achievements reflect the commitment to fostering intellectual growth and academic prowess within our student body. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College has successfully forged partnerships with various entities, including the St. Lucia Fire Service, ECA, and the Community Tourism Agency. These collaborations demonstrate our commitment to aligning academic pursuits with real-world application, providing our students with invaluable practical experiences. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College has established several partnerships with renowned universities, allowing our students seamless opportunities to matriculate and complete their degrees. These connections broaden the horizons of our students, enriching the educational experience and preparing them for global challenges. We are diligently working towards achieving university status, a testament to our commitment to providing higher education that meet international standards. This milestone will further solidify the college's position as a hub for academic excellence in the region. Through our sustainable agricultural program, the college is actively contributing to the achievement of sustainable development goals. By nurturing environmentally conscious and socially responsible graduates, we are shaping the future leaders who will drive positive change in our society. As we commemorate the 45th anniversary of St. Lucia's independence, the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College takes pride in being a beacon of educational excellence. We extend our gratitude to the dedicated faculty, staff, students and partners who have contributed to our success. Together we look forward to a future of continued growth, innovation and educational empowerment. Happy Independence Anniversary to the people of St. Lucia. Greetings from the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment on the occasion of the celebration of St. Lucia's 45th anniversary of independence. I am Dr. Charmaine Hippolyte Manuel, Acting Permanent Secretary. As Chief Technocrat of this ministry, let me join in wishing all St. Lucians home and abroad a safe and exciting independence celebration. I commend the Department of Housing and Local Government for coordinating yet again an exciting independence baton relay. In the grand scheme of our nation's progress, the Ministry of Equity has been a driving force weaving threads of interventions laced with compassion, empowerment, and social upliftment. These initiatives are impactful in the lives of our citizens. Over the past year, we have witnessed an unwavering commitment from the government as reflected in the substantial increase of almost $6 million in the allocation towards social protection programs in 2023, bringing that amount to almost $26 million. Our commitment extends beyond immediate interventions. We've taken a critical look at legislation and policy documents, hosting consultations to enhance service delivery at the community level. The review of the Non-Governmental Organization Act, the Status of Children Bill, and the National Homeless Response Plan signifies our dedication to comprehensive social change. Furthermore, our post-COVID-19 economic relief program has already provided financial assistance to over 300 persons in the informal sector. This certainly reinforces the government's commitment to our social safety net. 
In the end, close to 5,000 persons will benefit from this single initiative. The indigent, poor and vulnerable persons and communities, the unemployed, persons with disabilities, single parent households, our cherished older persons, our people, they are the nucleus of our mandate. As a nation, we shall unite to advocate for their inclusion in our national planning efforts, embracing their voices and perspectives. In so doing, we ensure that our national policies respond holistically to local, national, and global challenges. Fellow St. Lucians, ladies and gentlemen all, I assure you that our ministry remains steadfast in its commitment to empowering our citizens and communities, for we believe that true development is achieved when every individual has the opportunity to thrive. As we celebrate this momentous 45th anniversary, let us pledge to continue fostering a society where compassion and justice reign supreme, empowering each citizen to contribute meaningfully to our nation's development. Happy Independence Day, St. Lucia. May our journey toward a brighter future continue with unity, compassion, and unyielding dedication to the principles of equity and social justice. Duva Assam, building a nation through unity, resilience, and creativity. On 22nd February 2024, St. Lucia celebrates its 45th anniversary of independence. This anniversary symbolizes a growth and maturity of an island state that started off under, under the colonial era and came up into, into independence in 1979. The health sector in St. Lucia, of course, has experienced massive growth from, this, from that point onward, and as we go into this new millennium, St. Lucia, the health sector continues to experience strengthening and growth in a manner that is really allowing it to serve the population in a, in a more efficient and effective way. One of the key areas in which we have strengthened our health sector is through the implementation of universal health coverage, which is designed to improve accessibility and affordability of healthcare services in St. Lucia. We recognize that in order to improve our health profile nationally, we need to ensure that more persons, or rather every person in St. Lucia, has access to quality health care that is affordable. We recognize that in order to achieve this, we need to ensure that we have full collaboration of all our partners in the national health sector. So this doesn't just include the primary health care section, we also are looking at our strengthening our collaboration with our statutory agencies, namely the Millennium Heights Medical Complex and the St. Jude Hospital, and our private partners, including Tapio Hospital and all the other private clinic and clinic, sorry, and allied health professionals and agencies and businesses. So as we move into our 45th anniversary of independence and we look towards further growth, further maturity of our country, we also look towards the strengthening and the solidification of our health, se health sector in order to ensure that we serve persons better and that we are more efficient at delivering our health services nationally. At this point, I would like to say on behalf of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, congratulations St. Lucia upon this landmark occasion of the 45th anniversary of independence. Happy independence everyone. Let us celebrate. Let us enjoy. Thank you. Island home, there's nothing sweeter, there's nothing better. Nice life is with St. Lucia. We go into Rodney Bay straight after Gozy Lake. This Friday, nothing better. Nice life is with St. Lucia. Link up by the Cabaway, then straight to Anslare Street Party. Nothing better. Nice life is with St. Lucia. Oh, St. Lucia.
not wearing your ring. in the Department of Housing and Local Government, Dr. Cadelia Lane Ambrose, the Mayor of uh, Castries, Her Worship, Geraldine Lendor Gabriel, Deputy Mayor of Castries, Phyllis Duplacy, Councillors from the Castries Constituency Council, Monday Lewis, Attaché to the Prime Minister, residents, the people of uh, Castries uh, East, I say a pleasant good morning to each and every one of you. Special good morning to everyone as well joining us on the live. This is the National Independence uh, Battle Relay. I'll be your co-commentator this morning. We have uh, Iglesias that will be joining me this morning. And my name is Yasmin Steele. So, of course, every morning we start the journey with prayers. Please permit me to welcome Deacon Robert Harvey. He will lead us in a word of prayer this morning. Deacon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Let us bow our heads as we place ourselves in the presence of God our Father this morning. Dear loving Father, God and Creator of us all, Father of this nation, we give thanks for today, this significant day, when we continue the work of carrying this baton, a symbol of unity and togetherness, a symbol of service, a symbol of national pride. We pray, Lord, and I will bless the baton, and then I will pray for those who will carry it today. pray, dear loving Lord, that this symbol of unity carried by these people today, these participants, will be a sign of hope and trust. May they be conscious of what they're doing and that their work, their testimony will be a source of pride, of dignity, and of love of our people. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so very much. Deacon Robert Harvey for your inspirational prayer and also the blessing of the battle on this journey. Please stand at attention at this time for St. Lucia's National Anthem.
industry itself. And we met right here at this very location where Castries South handed over to Castries East. The Honorable Prime Minister, Philip J. Pierre, he received that national independence battle. At this moment, I'd like to invite him to once again receive his battle from the stub. PM. So once again, St. Lucia, the national independence battle is in the constituency of Castries East. At this juncture, I'd like to invite our Prime Minister. I'm sure that so many of you are anxious to hear some words from our Prime Minister. Every time our PM speaks, we certainly get an inspiration. So I would now like to hand over to our Prime Minister and also the Parliamentary Representative for Castries East, the Honorable Joseph Pierre. Joseph, once again, our Honorable Prime Minister, Philip Joseph Pierre. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, Miss Steele. Good morning, everyone. Sunday, I was here and I received the battle from my colleague from Castries South. Today, I, I have to give it, I have to receive it, and later on, I have to pass it on to somebody. But for, for today, it's going to be with me, it's going to be in Castries East, it's going to be with the people of Castries East. I can assure you that the people of Castries East are expecting it. The people of Cassius East will welcome you to our constituency. I want to tell you that this is a real symbol of unity and, and togetherness. We seem to be a country that is getting very divided. Divided most of the times, divided on misinformation. St. Lucia is a beautiful country. The people of St. Lucia are good people. And the people of Cassius East are better people. to be happy, the time for us to enjoy our country. There is too much disunity, too much deliberate disunity and deliberate misinformation in this country to cause us to believe that we are lesser mortals. We are not lesser mortals. We are not lesser mortals in this country. The whole world, there are issues and problems in the entire world. There is not one country in the world where you can't find issues and problems. So if you want people to make you believe that this country is the worst country in the world, they are being selfish and they want you yourself to be in a state of constant depression and anger. Let us reject, let us reject those people that want you to believe that this country is the worst country in the world. This country is not the worst country in the world. Our country has issues. Our country, of course our country has problems. Where in the world there are no problems? Nowhere in the world. But let us enjoy it. Let's celebrate our country. Let us love our country. Let us love our people. And do not allow anyone to divide you or anyone to make you believe that you must be in a constant state of anger. Many things that are happening in this country are because people are creating an atmosphere where there is no reconciliation, where there is no love, but just create an atmosphere of anger, an atmosphere of dissatisfaction, an atmosphere to make you believe that your country is not what it is. I want you to love St. Lucia. I want you to love yourself. I want you to understand that our country will, go, will grow to greater and greater heights. Enjoy yourself in Castries East. Do have a good day and I wish you all the best. And again, I want to tell you happy independence. Happy independence St. Lucia. And remember love St. Lucia. Love your country. Thank you very much. And I forgot. You see, today I'm supposed to be in red. Because today is Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I yielded. I had something red on me but I wouldn't show you. But I, I yielded today to wear the national colors. A happy Valentine's Day. And today is a kind of a cross because today is Ash Wednesday and today is Valentine's Day. So I can't tell you which one to observe. But happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Thank you very much. 
Thank you so very much to our Prime Minister and also the constituency, the parliamentary representative for the constituency of Castries East. But PM, just before you hand over the national independence battle, one of your constituents, Linnell, she would like to a brief song as we start off this journey or some brief words. San Lucia, your land is calling for you to come back home. And the lights is there so burning, waiting for your return. This is the time to be together. San Lucia, calling and sons and daughters. Back to her country where liberty is truly free. Send the chance unite, walk through the light, join hand in hand to build a strong nation. While the leaders, please unite, my people. We are walking in the land of the light. Send is now independent. I say unity, unity is strength. We must put our hearts together. Work hard for the future. We must save our progress. Send Lucia, work hard. Peacefully together, send the shots unite, walk through the night, join hand in hand to build a strong nation. One of the leaders, please unite, my people. We are walking in the land of the light. Put your hands together for Linnell. Wow. Certainly, my my dear friend in the Laconia Belvoir. Wow. So at this time, the Honorable Prime Minister, constituency of Castries East, my deputy mayor always says, great people come from the East, wise men. That's what she always says to me. So the first leg is about to kick off. So our Honorable Prime Minister and the parliamentary representative from that great constituency, the Honorable Philip Joseph Pierre, now hands the battle to the very first participant. He is Kimani Jean. So he now receives the battle from the Prime Minister to commence the journey. So, Senusha, we're now ready to start our journey for Castries East. So, our very first participant, Kamali Jean, he now has the battle, and we're about to start the journey. So, all those in Castries East, we shall be seeing you very shortly.
Victor Rene. We are in the constituency of Castries East for the day. He has the National Independence Battle. He hails from Tours in Marshall Community. He says it is the capital of Castries. To quote the deceased Calypsonian, get through. Timani, who's 19 years old, attended the Corin Secondary School, but is currently a student at the South Lewis Community College, where he's pursuing studies in the Agriculture Department, acquiring knowledge to further cement the love for farming. Timani is an avid sports person who has developed a passion for track and field. He's excited to be participating in this year's Independent Battle Relay and proudly represents Castries East constituency. So Kimali does this journey with his mom as well. His mother is uh, right next to him as they journey with the, the first leg of the National Independence Battle Relay.
sent to shop. We are approaching a handover. the National Independence Battle and the journey continues. <laughs> family still attends the day for as their church. Jeriza Jean, who carries the baton, is the granddaughter of the founding member of the day for as their church. We say congratulations to you all. I now see our I see her Jazia Samuel, her family is doing this journey with her. We thank them so very much for joining us. Oh, I know. 
international independence of our song. Welcome to all our visitors in Indonesia.
cents. Jean. Parents baptize the granddaughter. Of the founding member of the Dan for SDA Church.
strong and as I say a pleasant good morning to you. The National Independence of Bantong really is a hip constituency. I am a sentient that you are
responding to emergencies, managing emergency shelters, conducting damage and needs assessment, conducting drills and simulations. The battle is being carried by Natasha Chico, who is the Cyber Committee Chair of the Communications Committee of the Castries East Disaster Management Committee. Good morning, Natasha, friend of mine. Happy to see you on this journey. So, Sanusha, this is uh, the disaster, the district disaster committee, rather, for Castries East. Let's go. We're going down the road.
celebrate our island. So let me see your flags. If you're part of your island. 45 years of independence. receiving a national independence battle at this time. So Quest Gaston receives the national independence battle from the disaster, the district disaster committee. And the battle was carried by Natasha Chico specifically. So now we have the young Quest Gaston with the national independence battle. And then go shall we move forward. Secondary School and Hills from the Distinguished Community.
community of Bishop Gap in Marsha. Quest is a member of the Road Buses Club and has represented his club in track meets both locally and regionally. So we now have uh, the young athlete uh, Quest uh, Gaston. He carries the national independence baton. from the vehicle as we pass them in traffic. Thank you for celebrating as well.
Tangier family. We have a handover now happening. Young Quest hands over to the children to touch family. They now receives the national independence uh, battle. Jordan Ryan Sitanja was born on 26 May 1998 to parents of Fabia Sitanj and Stephen McGowan. Jordan was raised in the beautiful community of Bagatelle by his grandmother along with his two sisters. He attended the St. Joseph's Convent Preschool, Bishop Charles Gashe RC Primary School, and then Bocas Secondary School. Jordan was talented in many sports, even, even marbles, but it's a passion for football. At an early age, Jordan displayed a love for football. His journey began at the age of eight when his brother in law, Jordan, found that though he loved to play for Lancers, it was a little too far from home. He joined the bigger players in football team at Marshall. He played for the big players FC B1 FC, Marshall Football League, senior men. and rapid ballers Fitzel team. He also represented St. Lucia with the B1 FC team in St. Kitts in 2023. He was also looking forward to playing the semi-pro football this year. Vehicular accidents. Today we pay tribute to Jordan Royan Setaj. My condolences extend to the family of Jordan Setaj who carried the national independence battle at this time. On behalf of Honorable Richard Frederick, Permanent Secretary Dr. Cadena Lane Ambrose, and the Castro's Constituency Council, we wish you a very good day.
school intervention and uh, liter literary community policing and everything brought to our attention. The Marshall Police Station is responsible for maintaining law and order in the following areas. Marshall, Rock Hall, Pave, Millard Hill, Tourge, Black Valley, Entrepot, Bacatel, Arendelle Hill, Bishop's Gap, and Waterworks Road. Our latest initiative is Empowerment, where we, where we will all be adopting a less fortunate child in the community. The motto is being carried by a woman police constable 26 Charles and accompanied by police constable 162. Saint Lucia, this place is a paradise. Don't let it be down. Be patriotic. You're out there. I'm thinking of a new Saint Lucia, a land of peace and love. Some say they're gonna see your home. Send me, send me, master.
She has been an integral part of the community for as long as she could walk. She aims to leave an indelible mark on the lives of those fortunate enough to know her. Moreover, Lina has been actively involved in the myriad of community initiatives, ranging from educational programs and local charities to environmental projects. Even made her contribution through song, dance, and sporting activities. She has consistently demonstrated a hand-on approach dedicating time and effort to various causes that align with her values. So now shall we have Lena Joseph. She has the national independence baton.
the boulevard. We're taking a journey. We're going to party in the boulevard. Let me see your flats as we go in the boulevard. We are going in the boulevard, go. Let me go. Flats in the boulevard. 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 Let me see your flats in the boulevard. Yeah.
Dieu est parmi nous, nous n'avons pas de nous.
So we have the Boulevard football team. They're the Boulevard football team and extremely grateful to participate in the 45th Independent Anniversary National Battle Reading. This team was formed four years ago and has participated in two different competitions. Two safe spaces competition, reaching the quarterfinals in the first year and champions in the second year. The team has also qualified for two Marshall League finals of finishing runners up. We recognize two of our participants, Captain Edson and Petra, and two past managers, Ronan Weeks and Bobby Ideal. Solution this is the Boulevard football team. Thank you. 
National Independence Battle. He's a small progressive entrepreneur cooperating Marsha. He's also ready to assist anyone. His business is thriving and it is sustained on the Marsha Main Road. I believe it was situated now, so let's read this again. His businesses are thriving and it's situated on the Marsha Main Road. He's carrying the battle on behalf of our fallen soldier, Get to who wrote the song Marsha Parsi. by winning three consecutive panoramas from, 20, to, from 2000 rather, to 2002. Some of St. Lucia's finest musicians started their career in the Diamond Steel Orchestra. Emron Simmons, a musical arranger and a producer who has produced many hit songs for Ricky T, Ambi, Isleman, Miguel Joseph, Element Correction and Mika Joseph, another arranger and producer, Vibes Production, who produced songs like Clock Out and Feeling Irie. Hollywood HP, a world renowned DJ and entertainer, just to name a few. Diamond Steel Orchestra is currently inactive uh, but working on a big return for our fans and supporters. 
The independence battle is being carried by members of the band as the beacon of hope that we return. I anticipate the return, Diamond Steel. I think the St. Lucia public anticipates that return.
Bato. And the national independence Bato is received by Clowden family. And they would like to have a tribute. In fact, at this juncture, we will have a moment of silence here for all our recently passed footballers, all our fallen soldiers. So let's have a moment of silence starting now. And then break and then we can fly. soldiers, all our footballers that have passed at this time. So we have the Clowden family. They pay tribute now to Arnold Clowden, aka Coach, who was born in Castries on August 15, 1948. He was a simple, no-nonsense, God-fearing man who began his illustrious career as a teacher at the St. Aloysius R.C. Boys School. Years later, he joined the Customs and Excise Department where he made a lasting impression as a customs officer. After leaving customs as a collector, he formed a, par a partnership to start his own company, the A and C Limited, agency for the Western for Western Union and DHL. He was also a justice of the peace and ordained a deacon in the Catholic Church. A prolific and successful footballer, Mighty Despa, penned and sang a calypso, Pomham, to honor the footballing powers. He coached and sang calypso, correction, he coached, CYO, and mentored the many youth, especially in the Marshall area. He married Anselma Clowden in 1973, and together they raised the four children. He is greatly missed by many. The battle is being carried by his daughter, Carol Clowden. This will pay homage to his memory, the late Arnold Clowden.
go keep on turning round ahead for them. Everybody shouting, go, go, one more right now.
So the bottom will now go on to the middle of the ball. Let's start the game. Let's start the game. Let's start the game. Let's start the game. Grounds, where we'll see some young ladies and a football display. So we take a right uh, into the mid and uh, the Marshall Grounds correction. to the marshal the marshal field and we have a handover that will happen on the marshal field The Black family has the National Independence Battle. But McCarthy and Tash Marie Alexander, they represent uh, the Black family. So, all together, like a team on hands up in the air and say, Come, let me party, party, party. Party like it's gone, name out here.
Mr. Pierre enjoys 26 years relationship with his constituency, which ensured his uh, embrace at, as the A4 Prime Minister of St. Lucia in 2021. He has served uh, as a cabinet minister with responsibility for tourism, civil aviation, international financial services, commerce, consumer affairs, infrastructure, public services, and transport. He also served as Deputy Prime Minister from 2011 to 2016. In 2016, he became the political leader of the Russian Labour Party and the leader of the opposition in Parliament. On July 26, 2021, Philip Joseph Pierre led the Solution Labour Party to a resounding victory at the polls, capturing 13 of the 17 seats. He holds ministerial portfolios for finance, economic development, and youth economy. St. Lucia, I present to you, but more so, Castries East. This is your parliamentary representative, our Prime Minister, Philip Joseph Pierre. It's a party holiday. Oh, no. 
hand to the Honorable Philip J. Pierre. Some DJ that's hold on a bit. I think we have uh, a presentation here. By the students. The students would like uh, to have a musical rendition. But all the time I tell you, move up, you're moving up, Gator. So I have the, the Bishop Charles Cache RC Primary School. They will be doing a presentation. Once again, it's always an honor for the Prime Minister to meet the students. He's in his elements right now. I don't know what you tell me. It's not about the first move.
very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. You all can do that. Do that. And compete anywhere in the world. What you need to do is to assist you and to help you to go higher. Thanks to your, your teacher and your music mistress and everything. Give her a round of applause. I'm very, very proud of you. Very proud of you. Let us make this school one of the best schools in the island. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can make this school one of the best schools in the island, regardless of where you think you're from. You can make it one of the best schools in the island. All right? So, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you all tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll see you in the I'll
get up for the interval of secondary school.
National Independence Battle to our preschoolers. So the preschoolers now has the National Independence of Baton.
Sophie and uh, some people looking at us for the job already. Oh.
see the karate moves. I want to see you. There we go. There we go. Karate. Karate. Let me see the punches. Let me see the punches. Karate. I want to see the punches. So I see we have a handover happening here pretty soon. We followed on. I was informed that chess house. They won. So a representative from uh, chess house. I think it's a red house. So they will be receiving the National Independence uh, Baton. So the Jazz House, once again, they receive the National Independence Baton. <laughs> so they have the National Independence Baton. So we're going up the road with them. So we have the Leon Hats. We're going to Good afternoon to Mrs. Robinson. She's 
to a three year officer. He got me out to kill the department. What kind of thing to go? Probably with something that's still young. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 
A woman is like a mother to me, I must say. Her daughter went to convent with me. So I see her here with her daughter Cole and her grandson as well, flying the flags. And they're making this journey with uh, our honorable prime minister. So Joyce and Weeks was born on the 13th of May 1964, emerging into a world that would soon become her canvas for creativity and self-expression. From an early age, she exhibited a passion for beauty, a trait that would shape her destiny into years to come. In 1979, she moved over with her parents, Wilbur and Anne-Marie Weeks, and four siblings to Independent City, where she still resides today. In 1989, she embarked on a remarkable journey as a professional hair transfer learning and infecting her skills at Tina's beauty salon. Joyce Lynn then became self-employed and opened her very own salon in Independent City. The salon became her second home and her clients soon became not just patrons but long-line friends who trusted her Blanchard and her grandson Matthew Monrose, they are on the journey with her today. Joyce Lynn has played a significant role in boosting the self-esteem of those who have sat in her chair. Her genuine care for her clients has left an indelible mark on the hearts of those she has touched. So we have here Joyce Lynn Weeks. She carries a national independence battle with her daughter Cole Blanchard and her grandson Matthew Monrose.
finisher kami ni.
are the World Cycling Championship in Colorado Springs in 1986. He won the popular Castries City Circuit over to a cycling classic for four consecutive years. He also held the title of the Cyclist of the Year on many occasions. Even though Mr. Ravineau has retired from active competition, cycling still remains his passion. So we have fire Mr. Ravineau here. He has a national independence battle. Let's celebrate him. I'm glad to be here. Let's go, DJ. One, two, three, let it go. Hey, you feel that?
desire to serve others. She's a national rugby player. And she volunteers her free time assisting the youth with developmental skills. She's a member of the Blazers Athletic Sports Club, Road Busters, and Survivors Athletic Club. Mary was the captain of the Whiptail Warriors and Rugby Sports Women of the Year for 2022. So we say bravo to you, Mary Roberts. We journey with you with the National Independence Baton. <laughs>
should be ashamed. And when I am hitting, got no time for talking. All you with on your shoulder, put the problems behind ya. If you fall down, just get up and get your head up the dirt and when they try to back my you, and they talking behind you. to join us here at the back of the van and the school will join in after Liam so we ask him to come to the back here Liam right here you received the national battle right here the national independence battle is handed over to Liam he now has the national independence battle and his school now can join in with him He's at the back of the band. DJ, you could play some clock out for the children. Find that place so sweet, melodies in the feet. Everybody's on the road, we jump in for the gold. To where the soul can play, our culture on a display. Everybody say, we find a special way to save people, bring it. Everybody celebrating, the music sounds so sweet. It's all the way you feel it. I'm proud of where I'm from, I need you to understand. I am a solution, no matter how far I go.
Center. They now receive the National Independence of Baton. The Tiroche Health Center continues to provide quality and efficient care to the people of Twapiton. Tiroche Cash is Geno, Forestier, and Old Victoria Road. Community Health and Nurse, Ms. Alicia Baptiste, is a career professional spanning over well, some 36 years rather. She attended the St. Joseph's Convent, Secondary School, the St. Arthur Lewis Community College, and Monroe College. She is a mother of two daughters, grandmother of two grandsons. Other members of the health team include Community Health Aides, Ms. Mandy Timon and Mrs. Shalina Donia Louis, Health Center Attendant Ms. Sephra Hiller and two temporary staff Mrs. Shirley Dennis and Ms. Nita Javier. So once again, St. Lucia, the Terrache Health Center represented by Ms. Alicia Baptiste, now has the National Independence Baton. Oh, that's, that's this unit, God, the, 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 the
Student Assistance School, officially opened on the 3rd of October 1962 by Bishop Charles Gash.
She was recognized as the Lucia Sports Woman of the Year in 1997. In 2019, she served as the chairperson of the Windward Islands Women Cricket Development Committee. She was introduced into the first Cricket Hall of Fame on October 7, 2023. Eugenia wishes to encourage other aspiring players, both male and female, to empower themselves and grab every one opportunity which presents itself. Be a leader, give back to the sport selflessly, with no expectation of reward, but within the true spirit of the game of volunteerism. So this is Eugenia Gregg. She has a national independence mantle.
Independence uh, Banzon. He is a member of Survivors Athletic Club. He will serve from the community of Pave. He is a level 2 athletics coach and a football medic. He is a FIFA trained referee. He licensed football coach, FIFA trained medic, certified swim coach and certified EMT. He was also the physical education teacher at the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School. Currently, he is a CONCACAF referee assessor in training. He is accompanied by his daughter, Chrisanne Duncan, and also the athletic team. I think there are some athletes that are supposed to be joining him on this leg. So we join in and we're heading down with the National Independence Battle at this time.
We're currently in Geno. We're making our way. We're headed to Barbano this evening. This is the National Independence of Authority. We say good afternoon to everyone. Late in 87, when you see us, we shall jump behind it. Streets East, and we're heading to Barbano right now. So we're heading through Geno. We're heading to Barbano. Yeah, man. 
they wanna clock out, clock out. Bust them in a meeting, then I walk out, walk out. My ticket in my pocket, then it pop out, pop out. I need a glass of rum to put in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. My whole class say yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend them say yeah, yeah, yeah. Bust them in a meeting, then I walk out, yeah. I 
Independence Anusha from all of us at Team Lucelec. I am Gilroy Pulti, Managing Director. As we observe the 45th anniversary of independence, a significant milestone in our nation's history, let us all celebrate the best of what makes us Anusha. Our spirit, our culture, our history. One nation progressively moving towards a brighter future. As your sole commercial electricity company, we do not take lightly our responsibility to keep the lights on. We are driven by a deep commitment to our vision. That is, to be the energy that powers our nation's success. Decades ago, Lucilek ensured that Sanusha benefited from a world-class power system with the human capacity necessary to operate and maintain it. We have and continue to take steps to modernize our grid by taking advantage of emerging technologies to improve efficiency, reliability, and to facilitate the transition away from fossil fuels. This is to ensure that St. Lucia has a more decarbonized economy and meets its greenhouse gas emissions reduction targets. Our efforts at transitioning to more renewable sources of electricity begun with a 2008 pilot project that allowed our customers to interconnect their solar PV systems to our grid. This project was later handed over to the National Utilities Regulatory Commission, the NERC, to administer. And to date, the installed capacity has grown to almost 2 megawatts. In 2018, we commissioned a 3 megawatt solar farm at Latuni in Beaufort 
which has saved the country $16.4 million in fuel. In addition, we have worked closely with the government of St. Lucia to convert the street lighting population from high pressure sodium to the much more efficient LED street lights. To date, well over 65% of the existing street lights have been replaced. We have been working closely with the Ministry of Infrastructure with input from the NERC to establish the regulations necessary to accelerate the pace of the transition to renewable energy. A major pillar of Lucilex strategy is to contribute to St. Lucia's economic development and sustainability beyond electricity. In this regard, Lucilex is participating in consultations led by the Ministry of Sustainable Development on decarbonization of the transport sector to better understand the role we can play either on our own or in collaboration with various stakeholders. We continue to provide all of our customers with a high quality, affordable electricity supply and to demonstrate our commitment to social and economic development through our power of caring. Throughout our island's history, Lucilec has been a long-standing partner in development, powering our health, education, arts, sports, culture, youth, and our religious and charitable organizations. I can say with confidence that there isn't one single aspect of St. Lucian life that has not been touched by our corporate social responsibility. We thank you for bringing us into your homes and businesses and allowing us to be part of the St. Lucia story. We look forward to even greater days ahead for Lucilec, for you and St. Lucia. On behalf of the board, management and staff of Lucilec, happy 45th Independence, St. Lucia. There's nothing sweeter, there's nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. We go into Rodney Bay Street after Cozy Day. This Friday, nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Link up by the Carbaway, then straight to Ansley Street Party. Nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Oh, St. Lucia. occasion of our nation's 45th anniversary of independence, the Board of Directors, Management and Staff of Invest St. Lucia extend well wishes to the people of St. Lucia. As we reflect on the last 45 years, it is with a genuine sense of pride that we celebrate a challenging but rewarding journey of resilience and unity. We've not just endured, but thrived. And thus, we must applaud the achievements of the pioneers whilst embracing the opportunities that lie ahead. Our agency's existence extends beyond independence and has engineered the framework and conditions for attracting and retaining some of the island's most successful businesses. Some of these businesses has added and continue to generate tremendous economic and social value for our beloved St. Lucia. As the battle passes through the hands of our people in this really, let it symbolize our collective commitment to progress and be the strides we take to the pave the way for a thriving community and a prosperous St. Lucia, one that will shape a brighter future for generations to come. Happy 45th St. Lucia, Duva Assam. On the occasion of the 45th anniversary of the independence of St. Lucia, it is a great honor for me as ambassador of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela to express to the beautiful people of St. Lucia and its government a special message of congratulations. We have a history that links us to the first inhabitants of this territory, the indigenous people who spread their culture throughout the Antilles. 
we are also connected to the ancestral wisdom of Mother Africa, whose cultural legacy is still present through gastronomy, music, and other traditions. Centuries later, our history were connected to the quest for independence. In the case of Venezuela, we received the support of many countries. A son of this land, born in the resort Miku, Jean-Baptiste Bidot, saved the life of the liberator Simon Bolivar in 1816. We take this opportunity today to recognize the hard work of our governments and peoples who continue to strive to improve the living conditions of all citizens, always thinking of the human being, as well as to maintain our region with the best relations of friendship, cooperation, economic growth, and always in a climate of peace. Today, we proudly congratulate St. Lucia, the birthplace of poets and writers of universal stature, such as Sir Derek Walcott and Sir Arthur Lewis, great humanists, an example for our region, who enlightened the entire world with their legacies in the artistic, literary, and economic world. Today we say to San Lucia, long live San Lucia, happy Independence Day. My island home, there's nothing sweeter, there's nothing better, things nice like this with San Lucia. We go into Rodney Bay.
Let's see my pockets and it pop out. I need a glass of rum to put in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you sit together, wanna talk out. What's that mean? You're doing things and I walk out. I think it's in my pockets and it pop out. I need a glass of rum to put in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
She's not just receiving the battle, anyhow, PM. I don't know, I just said that. So at this time, I would like to invite uh, our Prime Minister and the Minister for Castries. Uh, DJ, please cue the music uh, for Castries East. And uh, I now welcome uh, the parliamentary representative once again for Barbado, Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot, uh, to receive about. Uh, Drop the rhythm. Just our mind. Just our PM. Yes. Our minister coming for her back.
three seats and Babano join in with the National Independence Baton. Look at the power of this battle that journeys around the island. So before PM that you hand over fully, can you kindly remove your flag, the Castries East flag, to signal the official end of the journey in Castries East. Castries East. But before we hand over and we officially put the flag on for Babano, I'd like to hand over to the representative, parliamentary representative for Castries East, just to officially end this leg of the battle reading. Thank you very much. We had a wonderful day in Castries East, right or wrong? Yeah, we had a wonderful day. But you know, Sister Virginia was trying to think. You know? We had steel band, we had orchestra, we had lawals, we had masquerade. So she tried to, but Cassis is rules, right? So, Sister Virginia, try your best. Have a good day. And I will officially give you the battle, but you will have to follow us. Okay? We had a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we would like to put the flag on. So we now invite the parliamentary representative for Barbado to place her flag on the battle, signaling the official start of the journey in Barbado. So the battle is now in Barbado. Mama Barbado is not far away. Alright. So now I'd like to hand over to your parliamentary representative. You all are, you all didn't come to play, so let me hand over to the parliamentary representative for Barbado. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the parliamentary rep for Castries East. It's just the parliamentary rep for Castries East, not the prime minister today. We are equals as parliamentary rep for Babalo. Now, all the women that are here.
Scorpion, I will not say that. My dear. Today's Valentine's Day. I have to dismiss you early. And please, the, uh, Minister Abantal, we view you this evening. We live in the Babano. That's what the whole night be here. So tonight is Valentine's Night. That's why I ask you to spend this home. So this time, so they met top by Babono, Jababono, so they met top pro. I would like to call on our chair for the Babono Constituency Council, Mrs. Bain, and a young lady, a young student, to come to present the Prime Minister with a gift. We're so happy that the Prime Minister has handed over to Babano that they would like to present to your PM a gift. So Babano really excited that they have the Prime Minister handed over to them. So they are presenting the Prime Minister with a beautiful fruit basket. I see so many fruits in there, very beautiful. So at this time, I would like to call on up from Babano now, since the battle is officially in Babano, Anthony Preville is affectionately known as Mahongba. I hope I get that correct, did I? Mahongba, not here, not Mahongba, Mahongba, Mahongba. Did I get this correct? I got it. I practiced about a good five minutes. Mahongba. All right, so he's going to be singing. He's taking over the mic right now. But before that, you'd like to have a word with this Prime Minister. I agree, sir. Yeah. So once again, this is the National Independence Battle, really. And we have the man, Anthony Craven, here with us. And he'll be taking... Okay, one moment. Okay. So this is the National Independence Battle, St. Lucia. We journeyed in the constituency of Castries East for the entire day. Currently, we are meeting... The two constituencies are meeting right now. Castries East and Babano. So tomorrow, we start our journey in Babano, bright and early. So we're hoping to have... However, St. Lucia, remember on the 21st of February is the official flag raising ceremony and display of fireworks. That happens in Rosalie, Castro Central, Sufre, and Beaufort. So please visit a location nearest you and let's celebrate uh, the night of the 21st of February. So we'll be enjoying the flag raising and uh, the official display of fireworks the evening of the 21st year. Yeah? So, as well, it's ready now? All right. All right, so it's not quite ready yet. So in the meantime, we have a pie banana presentation, or did we have that already? All right, so it's one more act, and that's it. Beautiful. All right, so we only have one more act before we end uh, this evening. But we're here live, we're with the constituency of Babano. They will be joining with the National Independence Battle from tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. And we'll be joining with them for the entire day. So once again, I really want to thank Castries East. It was an amazing day, Castries East. I love the energy. I love to see the so many students that came out. It was a very successful day. So we're joining with Castries East. We're looking forward after Babano, we're going to Brosley. Thereafter, Brosley goes into Castries North. And of course, the most electrifying constituency ends the battle, really, of course, Castries Central. I'm a central girl, I must confess that I hope all the councillors from all various constituencies, there's a whisper in some stuff there. But we all know Castries Central, we're looking out for that. Yeah? My mayor said, look for your trouble alone. But my mayor is neutral, she is in all four constituencies, as those four form part of the Castro City Council. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. Because you live where it's there. 
Alors qu'on voit que ça met pas le ministère de l'Université mais on est dans un bail de bonhomme. Pour voir nous. Jeunes gens, beaucoup, 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 si on a gagné, il va me régler. Thank you so very much for joining us as we journeyed in the constituency of Castries East. And Babono, I thank you so very much for your warm welcome. But Minister, my mom said, oh my God, I was dancing with the minister. She enjoyed that. So, so many people on the line enjoyed the dancing. So I hope we see a lot more of uh, the minister dancing tomorrow. Do Dr. Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyer, she'll be dancing tomorrow.
tomorrow. Well, St. Rocha, you got to tune in. Rumor has it that the minister will be dancing a lot more tomorrow. So get ready. We have a lot of presentations happening in Babano. It's a Baikai show. Bagai Kai Ho. So once again, St. Rocha, I want to like to thank everyone that joined us here on the road. We had a really amazing group today. And so many people came out. And thank you so very much for joining us. Also, I'd like to say thank you so very much to you who joined us on the various platforms. Thank you for joining us today. So once again, this is the National Independence Battle Relay. Remember to get prepared for February 21st, the evening of February 21st. Rosalie, Castries, Sufre and Beaufort will have the official flag raising ceremony and we invite you to get to a location. Let's start the official day of our independence in grand celebratory mode. So we invite you over to the flag raising ceremony and the display of fireworks. So once again, Senator, thank you so very much for joining us. I'm Yasmin Steele, the commentator today. Thank you so very much for joining us. See you tomorrow. We're going into Babano tomorrow. My island home, there's nothing sweeter, there's nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. We're going to Rodney Bay straight after Gozi Lake. This Friday, nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Link up by the Kaba way, then straight to Anslare. There's nothing sweeter, there's nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. We go into Rodney Bay straight after Gozy Lake. This Friday, nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Link up by the Kaba way, then straight to Ansare Street Party. Nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Oh, St. Lucia. Oh, 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 oh. My island home. There's nothing sweeter, there's nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. We go into Rodney Bay straight after Gozy Lake. This Friday, nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Link up by the Kaba way, then straight to Anslare Street Party. Nothing better. Nice like this with St. Lucia. Oh, St. Lucia. My name is Martina. I would like to say thank you to the guys from Paddy Access, especially Jermaine, for a job well done. I called him two days before my brother's funeral to do a live video and I was not disappointed. He was professional and kept in touch with me throughout the live, just making sure I was satisfied with everything. I would definitely use Paddy Access again and I highly recommend that anyone looking to do a live video to hire them. Everyone who watched my brother's funeral had good things to say about how much of a good job the videographer did. If you want satisfaction for your money, Patty Access is the way to go.